What's up, everybody? I'm Azure D Class Hero back again delivering the justice games deserve with proper reviews. Today, I am talking about Iconoclast, a Metrovania style pixel game that I picked up on PSN. I played through this game, had a great time, and got quite a few things to say. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the justice. Iconoclast centers around Robin, our silent protagonist, a mechanic who is basically an outlaw in this world. She just lives her normal life and all of a sudden, she is discovered to be someone who is fixing the problems of the everyday man. And thus, one concern, the big brother religious cult society catches wind of this. And guess what? She's arrested for just helping people. Robin is a strong, independent, and clever individual. And she uses her wits, her gun, and her giant wrench to get out most of her problems, whether it's helping out her brother her friends, or just trying to stop one concern. She's a very interesting character in the fact that she doesn't say anything about the entire story, i.e. silent protagonist. Surprise, surprise. But we find out later in the game she is silent because she is in shock from her father's demise. And this plays out into a bigger thing later down the line. Her older brother Elro is the overprotective brother. He tries whatever he can to control every and all situations that involve his sister, so that he doesn't lose her like they did their father and parents. Elro is very interesting in the fact that he loses his family early on in the game, and this haunts him because it's his fault. He suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder from killing a man, a special agent of one concern, via serum that pretty much sends their super-powered white blood ivory or whatever this stuff is, haywire causing them to explode and melt. This haunts Elro in his decisions and actions that involve protecting his family, what's left. He goes above and beyond any call of action in order to protect his sister, who he believes is not capable enough to survive in this harsh world. We meet tons of characters in this game and it is just all kinds of personalities. Every character that shines is one that you can visibly see in this game. Robin is the main character. She stands out because you're playing as her. Elro is the overprotective brother. You can see how he acts, how he shakes, how he shivers whenever he is just concerned for his sister or remembering all the horrible things that he may or may not have done. It's because of these character personality traits that just make them so memorable. Even the one concerned Goonies who you see throughout the entire game have their one-liners or they're interacting with a fellow soldier, their superior, or just kind of messing around that just makes you chuckle and laugh and it just makes them fun and just unforgettable. But moving on to gameplay, you do all kinds of things in this game, whether it's sneaking around, swinging from you know corkscrew to corkscrew with your giant wrench, sliding on rails, and just blasting away enemies. You get tons of power-ups and abilities in this game that just make it exciting. It doesn't get boring. Yeah, some parts kind of drag on here and there, but that's any game. This game is super fun. The gameplay certainly makes that shine. The boss battles in particular are what make this game a gem. Each boss battle is unique. Each one has its own little quirks. Very much like Legend of Zelda, but it doesn't require you to use the item you just got. Most of the time, you gotta use your witch. You gotta think on your feet. You gotta move fast. You gotta double jump electrify something, crank some kind of lug nut, have an ally beat someone up, and you're usually doing this with a partner. Some NPC who is either distracting the enemy, shooting them when you're the one giving them the opening, or you're switching up between them. Boss battles are complex, they're fun, they make you think, and they keep you on your feet. That is great game design. Any kind of boss battle that's memorable and just gives you a different kind of experience and gives you options to how to beat it is a great, great thing. Now moving on, I want to talk about the villains of this game. And this is something I don't usually do because it usually leads to too many spoilers and that kind of ruins the experience for everyone else. And I don't want to do that, but I feel like I need to mention the villains of this game, particularly Agent Black. Agent Black is one of the main antagonists that we meet early on in the game. She is a driving force. She is to be feared. 
she is not willing to kneel to anyone even her boss mother all the other agents she fears no one she is ruthless she is powerful she is just unstoppable for the most part we have to fight her three times towards the end game in order to even get past her or even to progress she is tough she is strong and she is just a fun boss and great character she's annoyed about everything she is one of the most memorable pieces of this game and a game is only as good as its villain unfortunately i can't say the same for d-class because i got cd darn darn d-class villains i need to step up my game and get myself a better villain okay so final words on iconoclast guys i just found this game one day browsing psn my own business just kind of browsing not expecting to get anything of particular interest i stumbled upon this game saw the gameplay trailer which was a very quick thing with its gear clicking mechanical music that had in the background that just kind of resonated with me i love steampunk i love metrovania style games i love pixel art i love all of this this is to me a perfect pixel adventure game it combines everything that is great with a metrovania style game such as the freedom to go wherever and whenever you want the ability to find power-ups just lying around in a random chest somewhere side quests helping npc characters who want to deliver a letter to a loved one or invite the guys over for you know game night just stupid stuff every character in this game stands out in their own way whether it's an npc little like goon you know the one concerned goons who i love to death they're arguably the most funny characters in the game aside from the chemco contra characters who are pretty much the rebellious goons that you work with sometimes they're fun they're quirky they're all weird and it's just it's all a good time now my only and probably my biggest complaint about this game actually is the story i love the story to death up to a certain point but there is a section in which everything just kind of goes haywire it gets really weird and just goes above and beyond what the story was starting off in the game you are just pretty much fixing things you get arrested you're a criminal for a while you help some pirates you invade one concern and then you defeat mother who is big brother monitoring everyone and if you screw up do something she doesn't like you're killed that's basically it for the most part but once you get past that the game gets strange it devolves into a bunch of cultists worshiping a giant space worm because apparently the world's resources are running out and the only thing left to do is evacuate the planet and start new somewhere else that's the storyline guys yeah it's a spoiler but you know what that's just the smallest of details there's so much more going on in this game and i do recommend playing it just that strange little gray area in the story is my only complaint otherwise i love this game i have a fun time with the gameplay mechanics the boss battles are always going to be memorable they're always fun i just have one trophy left in this game to actually collect and that trophy is to beat the game on new game plus on hard mode which eventually i will do but anyway guys i'm ash d class hero signing out please like subscribe comment below and tell me is there a bifrost or kojak game you'd like to recommend to me if so, put down in the comments below. If you're playing Iconoclast, tell me what your thoughts on it are. I always love hearing from you guys. But anyway, I'll sign out. Catch you guys later.